If you guys want to be constantly updated with extra tips and tricks about hair, hair growth, hair remedies, join my newsletter. I'm going to be sending you weekly emails of some value pack information. If you have any specific questions, we can go back and forth on that email. So that'll be the first link in the description below. I'll see you on there. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Amir and in this video, I want to talk to you about a personal struggle that I personally face and a lot of you guys are surprisingly facing and that is dealing with balding at a young age and in fact from reading the comments I know there's some of you guys balding at the age of as young as 16 years old which is bizarre and I know this can take a huge toll on your mindset your confidence levels and especially because you're right now you're in that phase of discovering yourself learning how to be confident dating getting jobs and overall just putting yourself in a position of putting your best self forward and then mother nature just comes out of nowhere and just smacks you in the face or I should say in the head with balding so with that being said I want to address this topic and give you guys kind of like a roadmap on how to deal with balding at a young age because I've certainly been hit with it at 19 and it was really difficult you know so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video all right so let's get this out the way balding at a young age is extremely difficult it's extremely hard especially especially if that's something that you're insecure about or something that prevents you from approaching someone or prevents you from you know just being yourself right and and having to maybe put on a pad having to put on a beanie or doing whatever you can to cover your balding spots and you're just kind of lost in this you know thing and your hair loss is further progressing as time goes by that's a very tough position to be in especially at a young age because the average person Person, they bald at the age of 35 and you know every man experiences some sort of balding and thinning most men I should say like 90% of men experience some form of balding and thinning by the age of 50 so dude honestly personally for me like I would not even mind if I'm going bald at 35 like come on for most of us if we know we're bald we would much rather delay till even 35 but for some reason we are the lucky ones or I should say the unlucky ones who are not the average but there are multiple advantages that balding can give you that will help you actually become more confident than the person with hair and the person with the good genetics and all that kind of stuff. So with that being said let's go ahead and jump into the first point and that is your mindset. I want you to understand that balding is not an illness, it's not a disease, something is not actually wrong with you. This is just something that happens to everyone. Some people it happens at a young age, some people it happens at an older age. Just think about it like body hair. Some people are excessively hairy and they grow hair literally all over. Others, you know, they won't grow a beard even when they're like 25. And when you're at that age, especially if you're young, like 16, 17, your whole goal is to look mature. Your whole goal is to actually look older than you are, which gives you a slight advantage in situations where you want to be taken more seriously. And balding can actually be a sign of maturity and masculinity that may make you look more credible and mature than you actually are. And to put it in simple terms, it will help you differentiate yourself from the boys to the man. Which brings me to my second point. Treat balding as an opportunity for yourself to improve yourself in other areas. See, when you have a full head of hair and you're comfortable and life is giving you all kind of goodies and you have no struggle there is no growth but the fact that you're balding is a physical motivation for you to actually start improving other areas of yourself that's the only way you'll be able to make yourself stand out from the crowd and compensate for the lack of hair that you have this can mean just going out there presenting your best self forward and interacting with more people to kill social anxiety or just going to the gym and putting on some muscle so you can be the buff guy in the room let me give you an example of myself uh, when I first started balding I think it was like back in 2017 um, I was also starting on YouTube right and I created a video on the um, on treatment that I was doing called Rogaine. Rogaine is basically a topical solution that you use on your hair that helps you grow your hair back. So I created a video stating my experience, my journey, um, you know, and if I would recommend it to others who are balding. And I recorded that video on my Samsung Galaxy S7 and that video is almost gonna hit 1 million views. And the fact that I was able to actually go out there and help and impact 1 million, almost 1 million people. It has I think 947,000 views. But the fact that I was able to go out there and actually have some sort of impact and help 1 million people, I would have not been able to do that 
if I had not faced this challenge myself. So in fact, sometimes as much as I hate baldly, I'm grateful for it because it puts me at an opportunity of service that I can help and provide others and help others to help gain their confidence and their hair back. Number two, start treating balding early. If you don't catch it early, it's gonna progress, it's gonna get worse, and it's gonna get harder to cure and harder to get back. And I've seen many of my friends that I've seen them bald, and I'm like, hey, bro, you should do something about that. But like, no, I'm just, you know, you know, it's just, it's just my diet right now. I'm just gonna take some biotin, and it'll fix itself. Two years later, bam, full head gone. I'm like, dude, I told you. Now you got a bald head. Yeah, there's things and there's treatments that you can do to reverse balding. There's Rogaine, there's laser hair growth therapy, there's oils, there are shampoos, there are conditioners. All these different options and treatments in the market out there available to you. And if hair is something that you prioritize and that's something important to you and that's something that plays a huge role in your self-esteem and confidence, I think that's something worth investing your money in. And as I said, my channel is filled with videos that will help you. In fact, I'll actually go ahead and link a video up here and at the description description below the five things that I've personally used to reverse my balding and I always say this is always better to preserve what you have than try to grow back more hair in areas where you already have balded. It's way easier, it's way more painless mentally and it's way cheaper. And number three, just because your internal genetics are not in your favor and you know, um, not mother nature is just not on your side, doesn't mean you can't externally do things. And I've already talked about this of working out, getting a nice physique, and again, uh, working on your communication skills and working on improving your confidence so that you can function regardless of having hair or regardless of having a bald spot or not. But also, another thing that you can do that will help you boost your confidence a little more, especially when you're in a position and you're in the place where you're around a lot of people, is presenting how you look and working on your appearance. And for example, for those of us who can, should, and I would highly recommend should, uh, growing out a beard. Having a beard is just amazing. Again, you get taken a lot more seriously. I'm personally 22 and people think I'm like 28 or even 35, which is kind of a bit, which is kind of a bad thing. Growing out a beard can definitely help distract a lot from the balding up here. Having like a five o'clock shadow beard can compensate for the lack of hair. And again, you see a lot of people on the streets, a lot of people on TV, a lot of celebrities actually rocking this look of no hair and just a five o'clock shadow. Second thing is working on your style. Dress sharper, wear clothes that fits, don't wear loose clothes, and wear colors that actually complement your eye color. If you have visible balding, it has been scientifically and psychologically been proven. If you wear color combinations that match the color of your eye, it actually helps visually distract more from your balding and brings more presence to you and your outfit instead of what's going on up there. At the end of the day, all of this only matters as much as balding matters to you. If hair is important to you, if hair is something that you personally value, then I think it's worth doing anything and everything for to keep the hair. For me, that's personally the case, and I can't see myself getting bald. Personally, I don't think I can look myself in the mirror and be the most proud of it. That's why I'm doing anything and everything I can to hold on to my hair. But for you, it might be different. You might have a well-defined jawline, a different facial structure, a nice beard, um, you know, a nice body already, or overall, maybe hair is just not that important to you. If that's the case, then don't waste your money. Don't go through all the headache and the pain of having to keep your hair, just shave it off. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about how much it matters to you. If you're watching this video, you clearly um, are bothered by this issue and would like to fix it. So with that being said, I'll say please just take some action and just get started with some kind of therapy and treatment or even just taking biotin because that's one step in the right direction versus doing nothing. Hopefully you guys got some value and insight out of this video. Um, and you know, if you're balding at a younger age, it gave you a little bit more of a perspective on how to deal with it and some options that you can go about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And um, what else? Oh yeah, comment. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section below or any other future requests of videos that you have and I'll be more than happy to create that and answer your questions. So other than that, thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.